Hey everyone, Brandon the Sterile Guy here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about surgical technician salary. Not just that though, ways to increase your surgical technician salary. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It helps the algorithm, gets the videos out to more people, and yeah, helps me a little bit too. One thing that sets surgical technicians apart from the main reason of this channel is sterile processing techs is because of the nationally and statewide mandates for certification and for mandatory training. This job is highly visible. It works directly with patients. It works directly with nurses and doctors in surgical procedures. So it is a very important job, even though sterile processing is very important too, this job just has more visibility. So I did some research to find the national average for surgical technician salary within the United States. I looked at three popular places. I looked at ZipRecruiter, I looked at salary.com, and I of course looked at the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Salary.com reports that the national average wage for a surgical technician is $24.80 per hour. That's about $52,000 a year. Right off the bat, one, that doesn't sound very appealing considering the education and certification I have to get for the job. And two, due to my experience in the field and what I've seen, I already know that's not true. Let's move on. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports from its 2022 data that the average surgical technician salary across the United States is $27.64 an hour. And this is about $58,000 per year. This to me sounded like we were heading in the right direction, but not quite there yet. The third and last major data place I looked was ZipRecruiter.com. Now, ZipRecruiter reported that the national average surgical technician salary was $51 per hour, which would be 98,000 per year. Now this sounds like a really great number and there are technicians out there that make this salary, but it is absolutely not the national average. The jump from the Bureau of Labor Statistics at $27.64 per hour up to the ZipRecruiter $51 per hour, that jump is way too drastic. Let me share some factors with you that play into the average wage for a surgical technician, but also I wanna share two things with you. I wanna share what I believe the true national average is for surgical technician salary, as well as the ways in which you can get the absolute most money as a surgical technician. One of the absolute biggest areas that plays into the wage for a surgical technician in almost every job for that matter is geographical location. This has a lot to do with population, but it also has to do with cost of living. Making $27 in a small city in Texas might be a really decent wage for your cost of living and everything in that area. But take $27 an hour working in Los Angeles, that's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna allow you to save up money for a house, and it's probably not gonna allow you to take any sort of tangible, great vacations. Cost of living absolutely matters, and if you're not taking that into account, then you're gonna have a problem. Now with the other part of the geographical concept comes the notion of supply and demand. Some large cities have an abundance of people going through surgical technician schools and there is an endless pool of people to hire from. So in this instance, the hospital or the surgical center you're applying to doesn't have to have a super high pay because they have the power in this scenario. So if you don't take the job, then you're out of luck. Someone's gonna take it. But now when supply is low, that is when techs have the advantage. It plays just like the housing market, supply and demand. For instance, here in Eugene, Oregon, there is not many schools around for surgical technology unless you travel up north towards Portland. You're just not gonna find anything right close right here. Not to mention that the cost of living, because Oregon sits between expensive California and expensive Washington, 
We're growing too, so our cost of living is drastically going up. So the local hospital here, the two local hospitals are having to drive up the wages to make it more enticing to recruit people to either travel to come here or to um, make that trip if they live a little bit further away so that it's worth their effort so that they can staff that job. Here's an advertisement from one of the local surgery centers offering $35 as the minimum experience and up to $49 per hour. And then here's Peace Health offering $36 an hour at the low end with a range up to $50 an hour. That's pretty good. That shows you that supply and demand really matters. Not to mention, I know there's union contracts here too. You need to make sure you're on those. Okay, so I wanted to get some quick data from across the US just so I could be fair. So I checked listings like in Phoenix, Arizona, which came up about $35 an hour to $39 an hour. And then in Houston, Texas, um, there was a medical center offering ranges between $23.87 per hour to $32.82 per hour. My guess is that Houston has probably an overabundance of supply, which is probably why they can offer less. I'm not exactly sure of Houston's cost of living, so if you do, place a comment, let me know. And these two places that I mentioned, these are not data and statistics. These are actual job positions up for recruitment, trying to hire people. So here are the two things that I promised you earlier. First, the national average takes into account everything, all the wages. This is from the least wage to the highest wage. This is from the least experienced to the most experienced. This is from the smallest cities to the absolute metropolitan large city areas. So within all this, we have to find some kind of middle ground. And when you find the middle ground, this is not the number that you can expect to be the minimum low end of the job you're applying for. This number is the average. So this would be like the middle of the road within your job after having been there from seven to 10 years, I would guess. I believe the national average for surgical technicians across the United States sits somewhere between $32 an hour and $35 an hour, somewhere in that really tight window. And honestly, for most places, that is a pretty fair wage. But here is the second thing I promised you. How can you make the most money as a surgical technician? Well, making the most money as a surgical technician is going to come from probably two different places. Either you are highly specialized, practicing with a probably sought after surgeon, and this could be something like a plastic surgery center, maybe like a renowned heart surgeon. It's gonna be this high profile, very specialized area. And these would usually be in a very wealthy part of the country, like in a big city, like Boston or New York. Those are gonna be, if you can get to those really advanced specialty physicians and work for them, then you can probably make a good amount of money. Or the other option is you can become a travel technician. And being a travel tech, if you just focus on only picking up the highest paying contracts, you could end up making quite a bit of money. Now, if you stack your contracts back to back with no vacation, you only take the biggest, highest paying contracts, and you make sure you jump from one to one to one all year long, you can easily surpass $130,000 a year. It's possible and many of my friends, surgical techs have done this. But here's the catch, there's always a catch. Sometimes the highest paying positions are the shittiest positions in the shittiest places. So keep that in mind. Yes, you might make a lot more money, but you could be going to really crappy places, working maybe even with really crappy teams. So this is where you have to take into account, is money everything? Or would it benefit you on this next 13 week contract, 18 week contract, instead of taking this really high paying contract in a kind of shitty area, maybe you take a little bit better paying contract in Seattle or somewhere you can actually go tour around and see stuff in your off time. Maybe taking that little bit of cut will be just enough to bring your life satisfaction up as well. Now, the other thing 
first, travel teching is hard, especially if you have a family. That is a lot of time away from your family. Two, like I said earlier, in order to make the most money, you're gonna probably be taking the least desired contracts that they can't even get technicians to hire on as a full-time worker. And you have to face it, places like Hawaii are not gonna be the highest paying contracts. They have the leverage. They know everyone wants to go to Hawaii. They're gonna pay you a decent wage, but not a spectacular wage. But what I really hope to convey to you with all this is that this career is amazing and there's lots of excellent things you can do with it, but money is not everything. And the more time you spend chasing money, the more life you lose in the process. I hope this video helped you to understand a little bit more about the surgical technician wage across the United States and the complexity of factors that go into why the wages can be so drastically different state to state, city to city. Any topics or videos you wanna see, don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. Please, please, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video.